we have in our virtual studio uh, Mr. Clifford King, uh, the president of the PLB that was elected last December. I must add disputed president because the uh, Football Federation of Belize has refused um, to accept him as the duly elected president and has refused to allow him to take his seat as the president of the PBL and that is why we now have some controversy, controversies in, in the top league. So we have Mr. Clifford King in our virtual studio. Uh, uh, Cliff, um, uh, how are you and good night? A very, uh, ple uh, a very pleasant good evening to everybody in studio. Um, thank you all for having me. And it's cer certainly a pleasure for me to be here to, to share with your listening audience um, where we are with the PLB and the, the matters as, as, as you have introduced. Cliff, if, Cliff if, if, you have any, if you have any extra lighting in your room, it, it would, I would appreciate if you could put it on. We're good. All right, go ahead, Cliff. Uh, all right, you, you. I guess you're not getting me as clearly as as perhaps we could, no? Yeah. Okay. No problem. Go ahead. Yes. Um. I was saying, no. As as you as you introduced a little while ago. Um. Yeah. Uh, in December of 2020, uh, a majority of club owners had elected me as the president as of the PLB. Unfortunately, um, those that at that time were in office refused to admit office and to accept the results of those elections. And far after that unfortunate circumstance, the, the FFB has taken a similar position and has not really done anything to endorse uh, those elections on my uh, slate or executive um, position in terms of the PLB. So, uh, unfortunately, we have remained at a very difficult position since then, uh, which really re resulted in the matter being taken to the courts of Belize for resolution. And um, we have reached a point now where we are attempting to, to take a different uh, a, a, a track in terms of where we go with this matter. But I, I don't want to get into those all those details. Um, I'd prefer that your host or yourself lead us into the discussion in terms of uh, what are those things that you and your audience are particularly interested in. I, I think, Cliff, I, indeed, indeed. And I want to go back to some of what you have just said, I think, because um, people may not um, understand or know um, how this controversy um, has arisen. Um, because as, as, we, as I introduced you, you are the president of the PBL that, that was elected by five out of the nine members of the PBL. That's the first thing I think we need to clarify, right? Five out of nine, that's majority, that's democracy. Five out of nine clubs voted for you um, to be the, the, the president. Four, the other four clubs did not attend that Congress, did they? Correct, and I, I I want to go back a little bit prior to those uh, to the elections and to the Congress that, that was held. Um, the the PLB clubs uh, in their own right had summoned the the Congress, the elected Congress, uh, and that was done in, in in due time and with due process. Uh, so everybody was 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 legitimately invited, uh, procedurally invited. To participate in the December 5 Congress. Uh, unfortunately, only five of the uh, nine PLB clubs took part in that Congress. Uh, that Congress was, was uh, had the oversight of the judicial bodies of the FFB, uh, included, uh, including a Justice of the Peace, um, including the Electoral Congress, and so the Electoral the Congress, let's stick up in there so people understand, the Electoral Congress of the, of the FFB, um, at, at, was it the FFB or the PLB? Electoral, con the Electoral Committee, sorry. They attended that election, supervised that election, right? Absolutely. The Electoral Committee of the FFB, which is one of its um, 
judicial bodies right. who oversaw um, those elections fully participated and, as a matter of fact, wrote the report to the FFB on the results of those elections. Uh, and all those results were shared with all the competent bodies uh, in Belize uh, regionally and, as a matter of fact, with our international uh, uh, head office, which is FIFA. Uh, unfortunately, um, the FFB, in its wisdom, have not have not found it within its remit to um, endorse the results of those elections and has really gone against the grain of its own constitution uh, to not formally recognize um, the role of its members and the function of its members and the the, the, the legal authority that its members has, uh, including the PLB, to conduct its operation in accordance with the, the, the statutes of the of those entities, and in this case, the statutes of the PLB. I will tell you and I will tell your audience that um, as far as we are concerned, nothing was done outside the statutes of, 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 of either the PLB, the Premier League of Police, nor the Football Federation. And so there has not been any breach of the statutory obligations and, 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 and procedures of either of those entities. And so it is in our estimation, and I'll tell you, um, John, that in the estimation of a lot of people, of a lot of football enthusiasts uh, and so on, that those elections were duly held and that the results of those elections were legitimate. But unfortunately, we, we, we currently exist in a, in a remit of, of, of football governance in Belize where, 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 where the influence, um, unfortunately, has, has not acceded to the results of the majority. And so, that is totally un, un, totally undemocratic. So what and, we have, and what we have, what we have, King, um, is the FFB choosing to ignore the results of that election, and uh, clubs uh, seem to have no uh, where to turn for any justice in this matter because the the Concacaf, the the, the ruling body in this region. Um, sees this matter as a local uh, matter, and so the FFB is is able to be high-handed in ignoring the results of that election. Am I correct? You're, you're absolutely correct, and I will go a little bit further than that. You're not only correct, but um, there is a legitimate expectation from members of the FFB, including the PLB, uh, and, and, and that legitimate expectation is that the FFB will accede, confirm, approve, endorse any legitimate action of its members. And the PLB is one of those members, as a matter of fact, under Article, Article 2 of the FFB's constitution. The FFB has an obligation to resolve whatever it deems to be conflict among its members. The PLB, like the different footballing associations in Belize, are, is a member of the FFB. And if, if the FFB, in its duty and obligation to members, recognize that there is some existing conflict, it is the duty and obligation of the FFB to intervene to resolve that conflict so that members will know that the, the, the governance and administration of football in Belize is carried out in a fashion that 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 that, that encompasses a, 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 a fair no fear or no favor where there's a leveling playing field for everybody to be involved and for everybody to participate the ffb has not done that and that is what we find very disconcerting we find that to be very unfortunate and we find that to be uh the sort of thing that continue to diminish the opportunities that uh, 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 club owners and investors have put into football over the last 20, 30, uh, 10 years, uh, in, in particular, for, especially for this new iteration of the Premier League of Belize, of, 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 of top five football in Belize, where, 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 where the investment that, 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 that people like the, 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 the Bandit Sporting Club has done, like 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 Verdes have done, like... like um, like freedom fighters have done, like Wagia, like Placencia, like like um, the likes of these investments that have been enduring for the last decade, 
when the FFB chooses not to to accede or to recognize and to endorse the, 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 the independence and the autonomy and the and the democratic procedures of its members uh, and to do the exact contrary that is a direct attack on those of us and those persons those investors who have invested in football and i'm sure that under the under the fair play mandate of fifa and concacaf and uncaf this is unacceptable this is unacceptable and, 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 and it is very clear that we are going down a, a slippery slope that we have been down already. And it is our anticipation that we have never gone this way again. But this is where we are at. Right. And so um, what, what has happened since, um, since the PLB has had this dispute, the FFB has now done what? Well, the FFB, in its own wisdom, has tried or is attempting to put on a show that they, there is this so-called, um, what they refer to as the top, top, top league football in Belize, that um, is seeing the involvement on only a limited um, number of PLB clubs. Uh, and in, in addition to two clubs that are not considered to be members of the PLB, but it is my understanding that they are using the whole remit and framework of the PLB to advance these, this, this, whatever they are attempting to do. But this is a clear attempt to disenfranchise legitimate investment in football, to disenfranchise those, in, those entities that they think are, are, are have a different uh, agenda or, or are not in concert with their agenda or the agenda of the FFB and the agenda is a simple one the agenda is simply that the way football should be conducted in Belize is to give everybody a legitimate opportunity to participate there has to be structures to allow for how this participation is to occur but the part but the efforts to have people participate cannot be about excluding entities it cannot be about exclusion it has to be about allowing everybody to participate in a fair manner ultimately there will be reasons and there will be processes and there will be procedures for there to be distinction among the quality and the level of participation but everybody must be granted the equal footing to participate at the highest level and the only way that can be done is when there is proper structure there is proper recognition for those structure there are proper recognition for the procedures for the participation of clubs as it is right now it is about excluding those who we think have a different persuasion or in their view isn't in the it minds also of the minority rule um cliff isn't it also a a case of minority rule where because they have this backing of the FFB, um, four clubs have been able to rule over five clubs? Well, that is, I mean, that is precisely what is happening. And unfortunately, that, that, that is a result of a, 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 a sort of what we refer to as um, alignment of ideologies and alignment of views. And I, and I don't even want to use alignment of, of ideology. It's more an alignment of, 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 of preference and, 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 and views rather than any, 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 any foundational or philo uh, 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 philosophical approach to how football should be managed and how football should be governed across the world or, or in this region. It simply has to do with, with, with a preference in terms of, of those who are aligned with me in terms of my view or my preference. And that is unfortunate. Because what that is doing is really disenfranchising a lot of people, a lot of young people, especially in a time when Belize is at a, is at a difficult crossroad where we need the greatest involvement in young persons, of young persons in positive things. Where, 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 where football as a, a, as a contributor to the economy can flourish and, 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 and every young person in every nook and corner of Belize, from the Rio Hondo to the Sarasun, from Cricket Circle to Sarkania, once they have what it takes and they are willing to do the hard work, 
can know that they can be a top flight, a top league footballer in Belize. And this is not the case. Unfortunately, this is not the case. And, and this, is, this, is, this is what, uh, under my leadership, that we are attempting to correct. We want to give young people the opportunity to participate, to get the opportunities that we have never had. And let me let me on the biggest stage in Belize. Right. And let me let me put in a plug here for management and owners of clubs all across this country. Football or any sport, but particularly we are talking football today. Football will never be sustainable, will never succeed, will never go to the level that it can go with only the players. And I need to send that signal out there. Because there are some people who, when bandits decided, management decided that we would not be a part of this farce. People came to me and said, but the players need to play. And yes, we want the players to play. But in an environment that is sustainable and without looking after the considerations for the management, and owners of these clubs is not sustainable it is not sustainable and so may you may get to play you may get to play a season now um, because of um, an agenda um, but the long-term survival of football in Belize requires owners managers players coaches everybody to be on the same page do you think so you are you you, you are absolutely right about that and and and, and that is what that really what you said there has to do with the sustainability of the sport as an industry. I have indicated on several occasions, there is absolutely nothing wrong with organizing players into their association, into their union, so that they can begin to advocate for those things that they deserve. I have cited this to, to many players over the last 10 years. There is a time to play and there is a time to plan. Because my ability to play today and to play tomorrow is never guaranteed. It's never guaranteed. There are so many factors that can influence my potential to play from day to day. So if we're not organized and that there's not a multi-pronged uh, approach to organizing and, 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 and for commitment and for buy-in from all of those stakeholders that you, that you have mentioned, a semblance or, or a showcase to say, see, players are playing football. That is not the results that we want. That is not the impact that we want. The impact that we want is about the sustainability of this industry for the long haul. For the long haul. And until we can get to that place, any attempt to just showcase players uh, is, is, is simply a, 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 a false and a farce attempt to try to control a narrative. That is simply what it is. And unfortunately, that is the position that myself and those proponents around me have, have taken. So what's, I the am, future, I, what's the future, um, King, in, in wrapping up, what's the future for, for the PLB? Well, the future of the PLB really lies in the conviction of the owners of the PLB, uh, which are those club owners um, that, 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 that form the membership of the PLB, to hold the fort and to say to those in the FFB, to say to those that are our partners, that we are willing and we are able and we want to come to the table to resolve the challenges that we have because this is a legitimate body of investors of, of, of clubs that have gone out here for the last 10 years to say that we want to do this for top five football in Belize. So in the immediacy, I am anticipating that the owners of the PLB will remain committed to our process to regain the stature and the influence of the Premier League of Belize. And we want to invite all stakeholders to come into this realm so that we can get back the PLB to where it needs to go. My anticipation is that whatever is happening right now with this so-called top flight league that the FFB is showcasing, that 
um, most sensible heads will prevail and that the, the, the regional football body will come to Belize to intervene to find out where we are and we have time now, now that the government of Belize has opened up the country for competitive and contact sports, to say to our stakeholders, make we stop this foolishness, make we bring everybody back to the table and so that we can organize ourselves for the footballing calendar that has been established by CONCACAF. The footballing calendar, the annual calendar starts in January for the, um, well, the closing season starts in January and the opening season starts in August. And we are hoping that we can get back to this organization of football where we are complying with the mandates of CONCACAF and so that we can have a legitimate representative for Belize at the next Champions League uh, 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 a tournament of CONCACAF. And, and to close um, off right there, Cliff, um, perhaps you can tell us, as far as you are aware, um, who or what, which organization does CONCACAF recognize? as the uh, top league in this country that should produce the champion that will re represent uh, Belize at any CONCACAF club tournament? While, while that is also recognized by, by, by CONCACAF, it is part of our statute, it's part of the uh, uh, FFB statute, that the representative to the CONCACAF Champions League is the champion of the Premier League of Belize. That is statutory. That is what is there. And, 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 and for the FFB to attempt to, to go around that uh, because of what they claim to be a case of the, 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 um, the PLB having its matters within the courts of Belize, that is a farce because the FFB has had, had and continues to have every opportunity to correct whatever they deem to be the country. Well, well I can PLB. tell you as an owner, Cliff, that the FFB has not made any attempt at all to sit with the owners of the PLB to make that determination. Yeah, the, 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 the FFB unfortunately has not done that. And, and for me, that is really a, a, an indictment of the, the leadership of the FFB. And, um, so they have not the sat executive. with any of the owners to say, well, what's the problem? When do I, when do I start on a league? Of course, in, initially, we couldn't start any, any league because the government didn't give any permission. But two weeks ago, the government gave permission, and by that time, the same day that permission was granted, the same day that it was opened, the, the, the FFB went right ahead and, and started the stop league, as opposed to sitting with the PLB and saying, man, now that they give the green light for football to play, tell us what are your plans. They did no such thing. Absolutely not. And I will tell you, I will tell you one, of, one of the ironic things about this whole these developments over the last uh, few months. You will know this a lot better than me as an investor in football. Right. For the last, for the last 10 years or so, football investors, including the business community, have gone into their pockets to support investment in, in Belizean football, giving young people an opportunity to play at the highest level. COVID came upon us, and that has been an absolutely unfortunate that we have been unable to play football over the last two years. We, we, we were in the middle of a season when we went into lockdown because of COVID. FIFA, CONCACAF, in its wisdom, have said to the world, this is an industry that we have to sustain. And so, support and financial support has been provided by the international footballing community to support the restart of football across the world and they have granted support financial support to reach to the level of the investors to restart football now imagine that you have done this out of your pockets and out of your good corporate part and your good corporate obligation and responsibility to support football over the last 10 years and finally because of a pandemic the international body say has, has said here we are really we are, we are willing to support the restart of football across the world across the region and then you have those in, in football governance in belize who take the opportunity to say all right we have this opportunity to support everybody but we're not going to do that because we are going to be preferential in our treatment that is just absolutely i they, 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 i, I I find it totally difficult to find the adjectives to describe this kind of 
this kind of, 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 of action by those persons that we have entrusted to do well by football stakeholders in Belize. This is this is just this is just difficult and and, and I am hoping that 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 uh, owners and, and, and clubs across Belize are really going to take a strong stance and I'm really hoping when that five clubs clip five of the PLB clubs have already taken a stand including the Belmopan bandits and so we're gonna see how that is going to play out. I want to thank you. We're out of time, Cliff, um, but I want to thank you for um, being a part of our show and for enlightening our football fans across the country and the world because countrywide we are on 104.1 FM uh, maximum and we are streaming live on maximum as well as uh, the, 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 the Jan Saldiva Facebook page. Um, so I want to say thanks to you, um, Cliff. Um, as things develop, we may have to bring you uh, uh, back into our studio um, to discuss, but uh, and I'm sure that things are going to move very fast with respect to top league um, football over the next few days. So thank you very much for joining us, Cliff. Sure, man, you're welcome, and and and, and, and let me know when um, I can certainly come back, and I'm I'm certainly willing to do that. Yes, man. Thank you very much, sir. Good night.